Hi everyone, we are here for the June energy update. And as I had thought, I was gonna do a couple more videos before this, but I don't know where the time's going these days. All of a sudden here we are and I'm like, oh, I need to do the June energy update. So I just got off the tennis court and I was trying to figure out when I was gonna do this. And I started to, on the drive, five minute drive home, I started to get information. So I'm like, okay, we're gonna just sit down and do this. So therefore you're getting me right after playing tennis. But anyway, needless to say, that's just kind of how it works. So thank you so much for joining me today. For those of you who might be new to my channel, I'm Carolyn, I'm a spiritual awakening and ascension mentor a distance energy healer, and a channel. And I offer these channeled messages from the Light Keepers to help you along your ascension and awakening and life journey. So today we're gonna to go ahead and connect in with what's going on or potentially going on for the month of June from an energetic perspective. Again, I always say, take what resonates, toss the rest aside. Um, one thing I will also say is that um, what I have noticed is that oftentimes the energy comes in for me to understand and read and it's part of what i'll just say the uh, vibration of june but it might not manifest in june okay so the things that i talk about that might actually be literal or material we may see them come down the road um i've seen a little bit of that happen uh, and yet at the same time i've also seen it occur the things we've talked about as far as future goes um actually occur in that month so Again, just keep that in mind as you listen to the video. So with that today, I think we're going to just, um, well, first I guess I'll just kind of connect in here with all of you and just kind of see how things have been going for you. Um, it's been an interesting, I think, last month. Now, granted, we've connected previously on other topics um, since the last energy update, which obviously would have been May. But, and I think what we're gonna do is just, um, rather than me commenting on what's already occurred, I think we're just gonna launch right in there. I'm getting that, kind of like I've said, it's like that birthing feeling, like, well, come on, they wanna talk, they wanna talk. So we're just gonna, I think, go ahead and just do that right now. And then we can comment on anything that comes through afterwards um, in addition to that. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and see what we've got here. Um, okay, so they're gonna start, it sounds like, with their voice. Um, which is typically poetic. For those of you who aren't familiar with that, we're gonna do, I think, a little bit of a poem. For those of you who are in the way, the way we mean the growing and the learning of who you are this day, the truth of you, understand that the way is in front of you. You are following the path, the brick road we find, the yellow one, the shining light of all time. You are here and afar, moving across the worldwide path to the greatest of the stars, leading the way we find. We appreciate all you have done and the journey that you have found along your way, each of the bricks you have stepped on in your day. Following the path you have, sometimes stressed out and wondering why you choose this path to tread. And yet we find you cannot turn away with a blind eye any more we find. You have moved too far along in this time we say. The collective is now looking at you to lead the way, as you have been doing all along, but now it is more obvious. And yet, in your material day, the human way, you will not necessarily see that, but you will feel it and you will know it, that you are part of the bright and shining tribe there is of those light workers who have come again in this time, but not as individuals this time, as a collective across all of humankind. Okay, so that's just like a little intro message that they have. They're really, what's happening now more, more than ever, I have noticed, um, is, is they're coming through in great reverence for the work that we've done. Of, of picking and choosing this time to come in to this great shift and change in humanity um, for us to be able to understand that even though at times we can get pulled back into our human lives and think, I don't know what I'm doing. What is this? Am I even contributing? <laughs> Amongst all the chaos that we have to deal with, right? Within our own journey. Um, and, and many of you very much understand that and when we see the things that we are uh, making choices on things that are being stripped from our lives. Um, kind of the, what I always call the Rubik's cube moment where the universe comes in, boom, something's done. And you're like, what? 
and yet at the same time it's full of grace, if you can see it that way. And then oftentimes the work that we have done shows up very much in our material life. And that is very much what is starting to happen now. One thing they want to talk about today as I'm getting this sense is they very much are talking about how we are manifesting our way forward. We are starting to see this and they're, they're, they're also giving the sense right now that June, because we're going into the solstice, right? Or yes, the, the solstice, the solstice on June 21st, and which I cannot believe. I, anyway, what they're saying is that right now, and this is the energetic visual they're giving me, is big things in our lives are being tossed aside, thrown away, tumbled, um, decisions made, choices made, big things. Now, these the big things can, you know, they vary across individuals. They're not like a list that you need to, you know, going to be following. Uh, maybe, um, I don't know, you're buying a new home. You're, because remember, everything's energy. You're buying a new home or you're moving from a new space or you're getting a new vehicle or you're changing jobs or, but there's, there's something, like they keep showing big energy shifting out, big energy coming in shift and change. It's kind of not like before, okay, where these were these gradual steps. A lot of us are in this space now. Remember, it's wave upon wave, okay? So not everybody's going to be in the same space, but wave upon wave where whew, a lot of us, and you're going to know who you are, are in June. They just said are going to see great manifestation occur because it's all about the work we've done, this inner work that we've done, right? And this light shines out and it creates this opportunity for you to align with the energy of uh, what you have designed for your path, your, your, your soul path. Um, so, and what you, what you desire for your soul path in your, your human life, which is your soul path, right? Needless to say, in this lifetime, needless to say, what I'm very much getting in June is we've got the solstice showing up. They just said to elevate us. It's another like step up, step up. They keep showing, they kept showing to me on the way home from tennis, us walking up steps and they said sometimes you trip on a step and you're like oh, god that was and you just keep going but you have to take a break sometimes but what they're really talking about is this is a great leap beyond it's almost like you're gonna oh this is funny they just showed us taking um running up the stairs double double steps <laughs> like when you were a kid or maybe some of you still do that now um but there's a great leap forward occurring in June. This also has to do with the solstice, the energies of the solstice of these times that we are in. Um, they're very much also connecting, as they have in the past few videos, uh, the solar flares, which um, I have not been looking at all lately um, as to what's been going on, but I am getting that, oh, they just said magnifying. That's gonna magnify your journey. Oh, you're gonna see the light more. Okay, so the solar flares as we know, we usually physically kind of feel them um, oftentimes, but they're talking about magnifying your journey. You're going to be more aware. And again, it's nuanced. Remember, it's we have to be very connected and, and aware to understand this sometimes because it's nuanced very often. But then you start seeing the pattern being put together. So what's happening is it's giving this, this energy is giving this sense of, of a um, putting the pieces together, a liftoff, a uh, um, uh, combining of forces, a... Um, uh, like a booster, an uh, opportunity for, um, they're talking about physical manifestation. So this is really interesting. We did talk, and I always remind you of this, remember 2023 is the year of creative expansion 2.0. And we have, again, I always remind you, and you're probably like, ah, oh, you say that every time. <laughs> because it's important, and it's part of this whole like year and last year. Last year was the creative expansion year of creative expansion, where we were starting to really break things down, right? Really break down, because you gotta break down before you can build up, right? I mean, granted it happens in tandem, but at the same time you're breaking stuff down and usually that's all we're focused on is all the stuff we're having to deal with, right? But at the same time we're building, we're building. And now in this year, creative expansion 2.0, a lot of us are starting to see the work that we've done is, oh, they just said reaping results, reaping reward, all right? Now, I'm gonna tell you this too, Sometimes it it doesn't, it's not like you just handed a silver platter with all the beautiful things on it. You may still be going through the, they keep showing this like throwing blocks of energy over, okay? Like getting rid of things. And, but it feels like it's very fast, okay? Like you're not gonna, 
you know, diddle around making decisions on things. You're going to know because we kind of get to this point where we become more mature in our journey where our higher self is leading us. That's who we are each day. So that becomes, when that happens, and it is a gradual approach to that, and it's very individual, but as we do that, our higher self leads the way more. So we we are able to see better, and we just go by our knowing, and we we understand the choices to make. It's very hard to explain unless you've experienced this. Um, our day-to-day then is led by our higher self and the choices we make, and things flow more easily. More of you are going to start experiencing that, okay? Remember, it's not everybody at the same time, wave upon wave upon wave, because it's too much energy if we all had this happen at once, all right? So there are those of us who are having great, expansive, like literal things happening. Business is showing up. Choices being made, knowing what you wanted to do for the future and doing all that work, and all of a sudden, it's a thing, right? Like it's a material thing, right? Now, others of us are in a, remember, the the continued learning and growth never ends. (laughs) So I just want you to know that. And we never just get to this point, and I've been told this, we never just get to the point where it's like, okay, we can just sit on our throne and eat bonbons all day. And yeah, we may have moments of that, but we will always be offered new learning. And and it is a beautiful thing when we do understand that, that that's really why we're here, as you well know. I think most of you that are listening to this video, it's not like you haven't had, I mean, you're listening to this video because you're going through this journey, Right. Um, you were guided to it, even if you're new, and you may say, I don't really know what she's talking about. There's a purpose in this, and I would I would then guide you to our other, the other videos we've done to help you understand more. But needless to say, it's wave upon wave, very much this idea right now for June of fast track stuff happening. Solar flares are big. Uh, announcing the way forward is what I'm getting. You're riding that wave of that solar, uh, they're really talking about the sun, of the solar flare, the earth is really acting up too. We've got a lot of weather stuff happening. A lot of, well, here's something really interesting. And I know we can talk about cyclical weather patterns, but I live in Iowa and we have had terrible drought. Like we've been in drought for two years. I'm talking bad to the point where we up north had a few towns, small towns that no longer had water in their wells, in their, whatever they drew from their underground wells. No more water last year. I'm like, well, what are they doing? And anyway, needless to say, guess what? We are totally out of drought because we have had so much rain that the rivers are flooding now. (laughs) So again, we're in this cyclical pattern, but the point being is Earth is also doing her like manifestation, right? Like she's creating as well and healing herself. We are right there in tandem with her. So don't think you're ever separate from what's happening in the cosmos. You're right in the middle, okay? All the shift and change that's going on with you is going on with in the cosmos as well. We are all one. So we're experiencing the same cycles. We're experiencing the same shift and change. All right. So anyway, okay, let's go ahead and talk a little more about this. So June, you can expect, um, again, remember, might happen for, in June for you, but it's part of this journey forward into this year. But I do get this sense of many of us are going to, they keep talking about the material, the manifestation, the creation. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. Some of us may see it more in big, I can't keep getting big blocks of energy. Blocks of energy of, of things we've tossed aside. And a lot of us are shoring up, they're saying. They're, we're shoring up what's all around us as well. All right? What is what is surrounding us. That can be your material objects that you live within, your car, your house, your, um, I don't know, the mechanical appliances, uh, your, the people around you shoring up. I do get this idea of a lot of just, we got to have new energy. We got to have new energy. So the new energy is going to come in and replace the old. And so that can actually be literal with, and I'm just going to make this up, but well, that's not actually made up. So, uh, I had to get a new, oh, last year was something else, 2023. And I can't, disagree that 2024 hasn't been similar, but needless to say, I was replacing everything mechanical in my house over and over again, in my car, on and on. New furnace, as an example. That's a literal manifestation of something old, 30 years old, going out the door, big time, fast. I've had that over the last two years. Shedding, 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 shedding. And what we're doing is remember where we live, too, is an energetic space, right? So 
the things we do in our home to shore that energy up. It's not just about us as the human. It's about everything that surrounds us that is energetic and everything is energy, okay? Okay, so the great leap forward is what I'm getting. I'm getting the solstice is, um, you know, we always talk about kind of a launching off point. Remember, we're always seeing an up, it, it, it's, it looks like an uphill climb, but the thing is, is the, the, the further you climb up, the more you are ascending is, is how they always show this, okay? They always do show it also as kind of going around a mountain to the top. Now, it never ends, right? It never really ends. Um, so we continue to keep moving up. But as we keep moving up, which June is going to offer a ton of this energy, um, we are, how many of you are going to be led by your higher self now? You're going to just know it. It's going to, you're going to feel this. The, again, creating, manifesting, manifesting. You're manifesting as a human working, working from your higher self. You're creating that by the work that you've done. But you're going to be just flowing with your higher self. You're going to flow. You're going to know. And therefore, what you create, you're going to create out of that because you're going to be able to be flowing in the, like, I'll just say the chosen path for yourself in many ways. Again, I want you to understand, too, it doesn't mean other things aren't going to be still, like, changing and shifting. And, you know, humans kind of like, um, in general, like things to, I don't want to say be the same, but to be able to rely on, well, this is a time of just upheaval, okay? But as we go through this journey, further down the road, we get used to this this pattern, okay, this pattern. And the pattern that you're, you, you are able to start to see is as you're going through, we'll just say crisis, whatever that is, if it's something minor, something big, whatever, as you're going through something difficult, you're kind of going through the swirl of the human, right? Trying to manage that. But at the same time, what happens is your higher self is there and you're poking in going, I know what's happening here. I know this is for a purpose and I know why. And I see the wheel spinning of this fixing itself, all right? But oftentimes it's a painful process of changing and ripping that apart that no longer serves us. But you can see the wheels as you, the human, right, are kind of being, you kind of split, I don't want to say split personality, but really kind of a little bit. You're going through the human emotion and the human thing, maybe less so than you were in the past, but you're going through your shift and change, but the higher self, you can see it from the perspective of the higher self of, yeah, but see what this is, see what's happening here, see what's happening here, see what's happening here. It's actually all changing for the good, all right? And then before we know it, the thing has shifted and changed, and now you're dealing with the newness of what is being presented to you. That might sound a little odd, but I think a lot of you understand that um, in how you do start to see, oh yeah, well, that was all meant to be and now I get it. And oftentimes when the universe comes in, as I've said before, it's like what they call a Rubik's Cube moment. <laughs> Things done. I mean, it's done faster, okay? Because it's like, no, we gotta get this done and move on. We got to get this done. That's what's happening now. June is full of blocks of energy. And when I say blocks of energy, they can be things in our lives, you know, situations, um, just being in the news coming in, the news coming in, the news coming in. So it, they just said midway point to me of the year, which that seems obvious, right? But what they're talking about is midway point of the year of, oh, they just said the breadth and depth of creative expansion of what you can expect in your journey forward. Because I do get, it'd be really interesting by the end of December, <laughs> because they keep saying, you're not even gonna recognize yourself. I know we're probably not going to remember this was channeled then. It'd be so interesting in December if I happen to remember this or anybody does <laughs> to say, hey, remember when you said you're not even going to recognize yourself in December? It'd be so cool to do a kind of like, hey, do you remember what we said? What do you like in December? Do you even recognize yourself from the year before, right? This is what I keep getting. So it'd be interesting to take a survey <laughs> or to make comments on that. And many of you now are also... Because reflecting back is important, um, and not living in the past, but reflecting back on, oh my gosh, look what has changed. Many of you have already seen this magnificent shift in yourself since January of this year. It's been quite um, uh, a, a tumultuous, but an uplifting time as well, and because they do go hand in hand. Um, so, all right, so anyway, what we can expect out of the solstice is a continued, okay, hold on. Hmm. I don't know what this means. They're talking about a clash of energies. I don't. 
we all kind of wonder, oh, does that mean something bad? Well, you know, it's all relative, right? But um, a clash of energies, I don't know really what that is meaning. Um, it, this feels more cosmic, more solar. Okay, but they just said, oh, they just said as is above, so is below, clash of, interesting. Um, and they're talking about a reflection of, like the reflection of this clash of energies, a big deciding of what we choose for our way forward. And as we do this individually, there's a lot of this happening right now for June. Um, it's going to affect the collective even further. So we are pulling the others along. And again, I know we've talked about this before, but in, in an even more significant way now, um, and you remember they're showing us again how they've shown, you know, like somebody pulling, you know, the old days with ropes and pulling the weights, the, the boulders and pulling them along. And they're showing us doing that, but moving at a faster pace. Wow. You know, we got a lot coming up this year worldwide. You know, we have the election here in the U.S., which creates its own energy in a huge way, right? Uh, but one of the things we want to be very aware of, I will say to you, um, is they just said stripping yourself. Oh, okay. Oh, they just said stripping yourself of the old ways. So now they're going to really talk about what you spend your time on. Um, they're really focused on, I don't know what's going on politically as far as elections and whatnot in the rest of the world, but there is a shift and change happening. And they're very much talking about this is so interesting. It doesn't really matter what happens in the in the U.S. And we all get wrapped up around the axle, on, or we can. But when we step away from that, we let that energy go, right? It's not, we don't create that, that vortex any longer that we all live in or can live in, right? So it's really trying to understand that we want to begin to start stepping away. Many of us have already done this, but a lot of us are halfway there. I like kind of one foot in the spiritual true ascension journey and one foot in the material. And that's part of the process, right? But what they're very much saying is they really want us to be aware of not giving our energy, not giving our energy into duality and the pulling to one side or the other um, because it's all the same. It's all old energy, all right? which is so fascinating to hear. And so when we live in our own energy that we've created, we live in our own space, we create our own light, that's how we affect change more than anything, is doing our work and sharing our light and just being, okay? Because the things that you do, as I've said, sitting in your home, uh, working on your spiritual self, working on your energy self, working on things that, that serve you versus don't serve you, changing and shifting your habits, your behaviors, how we relate to others, all of that is actually the way we assist the collective more than actually physical action. Okay, so I want you to know that because a lot of us still think I need to be doing a big thing out there. If you're drawn to it, yes, then that's your journey, but you don't have to be. You may be drawn to just be the one who is holding space, right? We all have different roles. And that's actually part of the work that I do in helping you through your journey um, in understanding the ascension and spiritual awakening from your very personal perspective. But needless to say, um, very much wanting us to live in our own light, uh, continue to grow that, and not allow, because it sounds like this, not allow, uh, they said the trials and tribulations of the world, they just said that are false, engulf you. Mm -hmm. Because we've come too far. Um, and they, they're very much saying that it feels a, quite a bit like, this is so interesting. And you know, they show, you, show us as a group, like the first, what I call, kind of call first waivers, very much pulling along, under, like really being led by your higher self, understanding, like really having made a lot of shift and change, okay? But what they're more concerned about, is, that's not the right word, not concerned about. What they're more focused on expressing here is to those who are kind of 
uh, how do I want to say this, like the, the next group coming along where it's like you're still really kind of sucked into the uh, way things were or are, supposedly, right? And, and just starting to move forward into creating your new reality in whatever way that means, right? So not letting yourself get stuck in the story is what they just said, in the story. There's going to be a big push to keep us in that story is what I'm getting. A very big energetic push to keep us in that story starting very soon. I'm not just talking the U.S. and I'm not just talking the election. I'm talking a lot of things. Okay, stuck in the story. Stuck in the story. That same story. Take, pick something. Okay, you can see it out there. That same like old energy of that thing. Whatever the thing is. But this is a collective thing too. So, And it particularly shows up in worldwide politics in how we um, continue to, I'll just say kind of run our societies, run our, <sighs> this is a big, big, big energetic month. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, it feels like, <sighs> it feels like there's an energy I'm just going to say this. I don't know how to say it otherwise because, and I hope I'm expressing this right, an energy that will enter the earth that will cause such um, upliftment that it's not going to necessarily look like it. Um, it's a part of the foundation of the old breaking down. And it really feels like there's a big energy showing up. Now, I don't know whether that's like a bigger solar flow than we've had, right? Uh, been having, I should say, because as you know, we're in our solar maximum. I don't know what that really is, but there feels to be, I don't want to use the word catastrophic because that sounds, that puts people into fear and we're like, oh God, a catastrophe. That's what I'm talking about. But it's that kind of energy. It's that big, I'll just say, that feels like it will land in June. Now that could be the, ex no, this could be, Okay, so it could be kind of invisible to us. It could be the energy we receive during the solstice, all right? So what I'd say to you, and I'll be talking to you before the solstice, obviously, even though my main videos were not as prolific <laughs> because I was on vacation and I just had a lot going on. Um, so that's why I didn't see much as much of me as I would normally you know, try to do a weekly video. But June, I definitely, definitely will be. But leading up to this uh, very much feels like we're... Um, going to be offered an energy in some natural way, I'll just say, um, that will be incoming. Wow, that is so interesting. I'll probably, hopefully maybe get some more information that will give us a bit more detail. But they're talking about turning toward the light. And this is the solstice coming up. Turning toward the light. Turning toward the light. And this is very much a com continued split off. June's big for this next energetic six months, okay? It's like setting the stage. We are in our sixth month of the calendar year, all right? It's like an end point is what they keep saying. It's an end point for the next six months. And remember, they don't give me a lot for the whole year. But I think we're going to see a huge shift and change going into the next six months. So June is kind of, I'll just say, wrapping up this first six months of the year. Um, Okay, so let's just see if there's anything on the ground, material, literal, they want to talk about that we may hear of or understand or see, I should say. Okay, I don't keep track of the news. I usually do bring in what's going on in the world. But they're talking about collaborative, collaborative efforts to change the way forward. There's something going on. Maybe this has been in the news. I have no idea. Collaborative efforts to change the way forward. And it feels like in conflict areas. It feels like something. It feels like. It's going to sound weird. Kind of like some power plays. Okay, they're bringing in the gods. <laughs> okay, I don't know. And when they talk about the gods, they're talking about the star beings, all right? And they keep talking about as is above, so is below. There is a, I don't know if anybody else is channeling this because I don't listen to other channelers because I just like to have pure channeling. 
but maybe you want to put your ear to the ground and see. And I love your comments too, by the way. When you tell me, oh my God, so and so saying this too, I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you. Uh, because, like I said, I just sit here and do my thing. But they're talking about as is above, so, but there's a conflict right now. Of, uh, there's a conversation right now of where we're headed, where we're going up there. But it's also being reflected down here. And there's interaction. I don't know. That's what they're saying. There's interaction. But I don't know in what way. If it's more like a psychic kind of situation. Do you know what I'm saying? Like intuitive information coming in. And these people don't even know it here on the ground. Um, but at the higher echelons, there's... They're talking about collaborative effort. Oh, wait a minute. Collaborative. I thought it was across political spectrums on Earth. I think there's a collaborative effort effort going on. And they're talking about as is above, so is below. Oh, wow. We don't... Whoa! I just got huge chills. I just got huge chills. There's Okay, now they're showing this. There's something about... Don't, we don't talk about a lot with the star beings and their effect on what's going on. But they're talking about it now. There's a collaborative effort going on. It feels like... They just said the sky gods. Um, and they're having a collaborative effort, but there's a, there's a disagreement on the way forward. Don't ask me what that means. But they are also very much influencing what's happening here. And there is no way. It's just what it's going to look like. Okay? It's what it's going to look like is what I keep hearing. There's a, they all know where we're headed. Which is the ascended times. Higher dimensional, higher consciousness way of living for Earth. That's going to happen. I want you to know that. But this is the funny part is what is it going to look like on the way there? How we get there is what I keep getting is and what gets to stay and what has to go. And they're really talking big picture right now. Collaborative effort with those on the ground. Now, this could be this could be, you know, channeled information. This could be I don't know, but there are people working in the pockets and I'm not saying these are your political leaders. I'm not saying that. I am saying that maybe there is something going on there. But there's also something going on in pockets elsewhere. Collaborative effort to change the way forward. But there's also disagreement. It doesn't feel, it feels, what's the word I'm looking for? It feels, um, it's not warlike. Like they're having a, a war up there like you would expect. You know, like in the past there have been what we'll call a kind of like nuclear wars. I'm not getting that. I'm getting this is more of like um, contentious times in the sense of the way forward. They know the way forward, but what path are we going to take? Are they going to draw it out kind of thing? And where are we in the journey? And how far along have we come in our consciousness to be able to get there? Do you see what I'm saying? We can't just be handed this. This is our work to do. We are unraveling all the paths that we created. We're regathering our soul fragments. We're changing the past by the things we're doing today. That's a whole other conversation. But we can't just be handed this. We're doing this work individually and collectively to move forward into the new times. But what the, the argument argument is, as this stuff has never come through before, at least that I'm aware of, is the way forward. Is it longer and drawn out? Are there more lessons to learn? Or are we on that path to be able to accelerate in a way that, I don't want to say we'll get us there sooner, because we know time is kind of strange and irrelevant in a way. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of leave you with that. Um, I, I, Well, we, we typically talk about Earth weather events, but like I said, this is, this is going to continue. We're going to see, I keep really getting June, um, the, the waterways. The waterways, they keep, they've keep they always been talking about water, a lot of water, um, a lot of water events, a lot of water events. Um, continued clearing of the skies, they just said. Okay, so, okay, I can't speak for the rest of the world, but in the United States, we have had these huge fronts come in that that have been bigger than usually before. Usually, they're sweet, they sweep across the country, as those of you in the United States kind of know, particularly if you live in the Midwest or the South. Uh, and they are kind of like repeated patterns. Um, and have been quite destructive. Um, those, they're bigger now, um, and we just have to know this is kind of the way it's going to work. Uh, I don't know what's happening elsewhere. Um, I apologize, but I do get this sweeping of the lands. This is a clearing out. Um, 
and so that's you know we're we're gonna continue on that pathway um, you know to the new times so I, I feel like we're at kind of a place of finishing up here really just as a quick summary understanding that we this is a this June is almost like a okay we're done with the first six months and now here we go kind of thing um, also this idea of um, seeing particularly those I'll say frontliners that are have create have started to create what they know whatever whatever that means create what they know gonna see it show up I'm gonna see it show up and these big blocks of energy which are things in our lives they're going and in comes the, the new it's that Rubik's Cube moment a lot of us are having a lot of things happen really fast and if you're wondering what the Rubik's Cube moment is if I didn't explain that earlier that is the way they show like when somebody knows how to put a Rubik's Cube together which very few do right it's done that's the universe coming in and I was called a Rubik's Cube moment a lot of us have had those where um, kind of things feel like they're going to hell in a handbasket and all of a sudden there's this big change in your life but it's you go through it and it's fast the, faster than normal everything kind of gets put together and you're kind of like oh, oh what just happened I just went through you know a tornado <laughs> not literally but metaphorically right like what was that and then you come out and you're fine but you're kind of dealing with the aftermath right so anyway um, that is really what we're looking at for June in general it looks very bright in that sense um, but as we know in this journey lots of times we don't see it as that as a human but as we elevate more in our consciousness and we understand how this journey works the more experienced we are the more we understand oh this is all for purpose and and for good and then we start flowing along more when these these things show up for us that are like pulling away from us and we actually flow through it more more easily as the human so but remember you still want to always feel your emotion you don't want to ignore that you want to be able to you know constructively you know go through that process is what I'll say whatever that stripping away is of and then being able to use that beautiful new energy for your way forward in your journey so I think we're gonna just wrap up here today I will remind you as always my purple rain healing website where you can see all of my services where I work with so many of you on your awakening and ascension journey helping you past present future we connect into your past lives we help you understand your early journey and how that has really framed you framed things up for you in your current journey but how the spiritual awakening journey is wrapped up in all of that and then helping you on your way forward so with that today I would love to work with you reach out to me you can click the button where it says contact me and you can just fill out the form and I do offer 15 minute consult free consultations so with that we could discuss what you're interested in and decide if you want to move forward so I'm here to help you on your journey I would love to assist you and I am so happy you are here feel free to comment about anything that you know about or want to share with the others because I love getting your comments and I know the others um, it helps us learn from each other so with that today I'm going to leave you with the June energy update I wish you well and I will see you again shortly in another video thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video